those thoughts, feelings, beliefs, behaviors, your actions, create a platform of how people will show up to you, respond to you, react to you, love you, and whether or not they want to be with you. So if you are looking to attract your ex back, if you are looking to start a relationship with somebody, if you've just had a date with somebody, if you are in a relationship already and you want them to treat you better, never forget your energy is super, super powerful. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how you can get them to love you. So before I do that, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome, I'm Natalie, and this is As The Pennies Drop. And this channel is all about creating a life that you love, deserve, and desire. I am a conscious manifestation coach and a neurotransformation therapy practitioner. And I provide a variety of coaching solutions to guide you to creating the life that you deserve. So just click the link below if you would like to find out more, or you can email me at natalie at asapennysdrop.com. Okay, back to the video. Get the person that we want the most to fall in love with us. Number one, we want to stop the desperation, that obsessive need of them being with you because all that is doing is putting your energy into not having. And remember at the beginning of the video, I said your energy is super, super powerful. And your thoughts, your beliefs, your behaviors, your actions, your feelings create. They all have a part in creating the life that you currently have. So we want to let go of this obsessive need of having them, this desperation of wanting to be with them. That is the first thing we desperately need to focus on. The desperation needs to stop. The obsession, the need needs to stop. The anxiety of not being with them, the stress that it's creating, all of this needs to stop. If you want them to show up adoring you, loving you like you've never been loved before, respecting you, valuing you, wanting to immerse themselves into your life because they just love being with you so much. If you want this, and this is your dominant desire, then the desperation must go. Now, I know that when we are not with the person that we want to be with, to begin with, it can feel pretty, pretty hard and pretty painful. But the more we are holding on to that, that feeling of not having them, not being with them, the more we are blocking them coming into our life. Whether that's wanting your ex back, being with that specific person that you've had your eye on, that you've got a crush on. Maybe you've had a first date with somebody and you want it to continue. Maybe you're in that relationship already and you just want them to commit more. You just want them to love you in a way that you know that you deserve. We have to, we have to let go. And you can do this in a variety of different ways. You can do this by every time you think of them, think a lovely thought and then get on with your life. The more you fill your life up with things that you love, the easier it is going to be. It might not be easy to start with. You take one minute at a time, one half hour at a time, one hour at a time, one day at a time, one week at a time. But the more you start filling your life up, the easier it's going to be for you to let go of this obsessive need of them, which is only creating lack and, like I said, blocking them. So that's number one. Number two, stop trying so hard. Believe me, I'm not going to share something, but believe me, the more we try, the more we are saying we don't have, the more we are pushing them further and further and further away. So this is where we want them 
to seemingly come to us naturally and freely. We want to be really super mindful of what we're thinking. We want to be super mindful of what those initial thoughts are when they come into our mind, when we start thinking about them, when they're in our imagination, we want to be super, super aware of what those initial thoughts are because those thoughts will create your tomorrow and the day after and the day after that. So get a pen and paper. You can pause the video. You can do this a bit later if you can't do this right now or if it's not safe to do so. And I want you to ask yourself this question. What is your primary dominant thought comes to mind when you first think about them? What is it? Maybe it's a variety of different things. Maybe it's something like this. They're ignoring me. They're never going to respond to me. They're probably dating somebody else now. They're probably online. They've probably got a queue of people to date. They don't want me. They never wanted me. Maybe they'll meet somebody prettier, more handsome. Maybe they'll meet somebody that's more fun, more adventurous. Maybe they'll meet somebody that they truly fall in love with. Any of those resonate? And I'm sure the list could go on and on and on. So we wanna write down what is our, and honest, honestly, what is your first thought that you think about when they come to mind? What is it you attach to them when you think about them? Everything that I've just shared with you is full of lack, low self-worth, um, them on the pedestal, you not on the pedestal, resistance, not having, sadness, the complete opposite of what it is that we are wanting. These limiting beliefs that you have, these thoughts that you are holding on to, so limiting beliefs, are what are blocking you from getting the person that you want the most to fall in love with you. So, number three, we want to create some empowering beliefs. That initial thought that when they come to mind, it clicks into place. It is just there. So what could be the opposite of them not wanting you? Maybe that's your first initial thought. So an empowering thought would be, they can't stop thinking about me. I'm the love of their life. I'm all they've ever wanted. Now, if you have been holding on to the negative um, disempowering thoughts and beliefs for quite a while, going from that to I am the only one they could be feeling like it's a lie to you, um, which is why I've talked about before using intentions. But there's another way as well that we can do it where we can kind of create a question around it. You know, maybe they do think about me all the time. Maybe I am the love of their life. Maybe I'm the only one that they do actually want to be with. Maybe they're thinking about calling me right now. Maybe they're thinking about asking me out again or for the first time. Maybe they think I'm the most handsome or prettiest person that they've ever met. What if I got a call from them? What if they'd suddenly decided to give me a call just to see how I am? and then ask me out. Now, those empowering thoughts feel so much better than these desperate, negative, full of lack, full of resistant thoughts um, that I first shared with you. So when they come to mind, we want to switch that thought instantly to the empowering thought. Now you can write that down. You can just have one thought about them and you can just replay that over and over in your mind. So when they come to mind, it could be, what if they're gonna ask me out? 
maybe they will ask me out. That could be it. Whatever it is, we want it to be the opposite of what it is that you're currently telling yourself. Maybe you're telling yourself more than one thing. We want that first empowering thought to really wow, to make you feel, wow, this actually could be possible. It could be possible that, you know, they, they really like me. It could be possible. You know, maybe it is. What if it is? So we want to make that really super juicy and empowering. So all we've basically done here is we've just reframed an old thought to an empowering thought. And do you feel that energy shift inside of you when you go from the lack, the resistance, the yucky thought? When you say they're never going to want me to... What if, what if I was the only one for them? What if they did want me? You know, if, you know, just me even saying that makes me feel so much better. Energy, our energy is super powerful and we want to be mindful of how we use it. We want to create an awareness of how we are using our thoughts because those thoughts will become your tomorrow. They will if persisted in, if they become your dominant thought. Energy is super powerful. Never, ever forget that. So do you want them to fall in love with you? You want them to ask you out on a date? You want them to come back to you? You want them to treat you so much better than they currently are? Isn't it time to be kind to yourself and have the love that you deserve? Therefore, give it a go. You've got nothing to lose. You have got nothing to lose just by putting this into practice. So that's it for me. How you get somebody to fall in love with you. I really hope you liked this video. This is my first video since Christmas. So I really hope you've all had an amazing, amazing Christmas and are feeling super chilled. And looking forward to the new year too. Um, and I'll just leave it here to say, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And if you want to see when I'm posting, um, I've always forgotten to say this, but please click the bell icon. Take care, everybody, and I'll be back soon.